And yes, the Marauders are coming out. So we're probably going to have some cute little drops with four Marauders with Stim. And just he's going to try to focus down as much as possible just because Marauders can do that with their Stim ability and just lay down heavy, heavy, heavy damage. But uh, no dropships coming out from uh, Joseki yet. Not like he really needs it. But he just has a massive amount of... Um, Vikings here. He's been able to focus down probably this turret. And this will fly over here. As you can see, it, it is quickly burning down and just explodes. And all these little SCVs are going to run for their lives. And she doesn't really have much to do here. I mean, he can't really go. He is scanned. So, uh, Joseki is going to know what his opponent is doing. But as you can see here, he's going to go with, with those Vikings and bam! It just gets completely obliterated. There's just way too much um, Vikings over here. I'm not really sure the purpose of Joseki landing units here. Um, probably a misclick because this guy is doing his own thing and uh, I'm not really sure what's going on. So we just have Vikings kind of chilling here. I guess to each their own. And I'm kind of surprised here that Cheese doesn't have a reactor on this yet. Um, I guess he just wants to keep a constant production. Oh, he actually has a reactor on this one. So as you can see, Cheese did switch over to the tight base plate, but he has two SCVs very idle also. So I guess both players are just concentrating on other tasks in this game at the moment. And you can see we do have this turret just providing detection and just um, helping versed Vikings. And it looks like uh, Joseki has pretty much the advantage in this game. I mean, more Vikings, more tanks, going Marauders, uh, expanding with his turns across the map. Both have their X pull up, but I mean, um, Joseki can easily take a third. I would pretty much have to be expecting a miracle coming in from from uh, Cheese here. And he keeps scanning. I'm really surprised that he doesn't make any types of pushes. There he goes. It looks like he's going to go ahead and try to make a push here. And I'm kind of curious to see if this is going to work for him. He can easily take this tower, camp it out, and just control the whole entire map with these Vikings. As you can see here, Joseki is moving in into the perfect location. And Cheese is setting up his um, tanks here. And his tanks are going to get focused down even though it's not in siege mode. I'm not really sure. This is a very, very bad confrontation by Joseki here. I'm not sure what he was doing. That was very, very silly. And now his Vikings are just getting focused down. And what turned around to a winning battle just turned into a giant losing one for Joseki there. He only brought about like a third of his army to do anything. He brought two tanks. And yeah, that was just really, really bad on his part. I'm not sure what he was thinking. Now he's going to go and land these Vikings. Focus down this siege tank. And there we go, Joseki saying, I'm so bad. That was very, very silly, Joseki. I'm not sure what you're thinking. And actually, these two Vikings go ahead and get away from these other Vikings. So, wow. Big turn of events here. From what I thought, a losing battle just turns out into someone not wanting to use their whole entire army. And now he's in a rut. And it looks like Joseki is going to continue to spam more rotters. Um, I'm guessing these are for the focusing power of, uh, it looks like Joseki is saying, yes, you are worse than me if you lose this. I just had a giant advantage, and I threw it away. Yes, you did, sir. And it looks like SCVs are just kind of uh, chillaxing out here. I'm not really sure the purpose of that. We do have uh, Cheese trying to scout out the area, but these missile turns are like, no, no, thank you. We know you're there. We're going to start firing our missiles at you. And, uh, yeah, pretty much tear you up. It looks like we're going to go ahead and have a backdoor action go on here. Uh, missile turns are up, and he's going to quickly retreat. Oh, too bad you didn't scout this area here, sir. There's not a missile turn up there yet. You could have probably snuck it and did some significant damage. Um, one thing Cheese is not going are these... Um, excuse me, these marauders here, but he's just going more and more and more and more and more and more Vikings. I guess you can never have enough Vikings at this point in time, and just more and more siege tanks. Uh, he only has two siege tanks, four siege tanks at this point in time, sorry. And just a massive amount of Vikings. It is a bit ridiculous how much Vikings he has compared to Joseki here. We have Joseki with about ten, and Cheese is sitting easily at, let's see, that is twelve plus another six. So we have like 18 Vikings coming in from Cheese here. Just a ridiculous amount. And <laughs> Joseki knows this, and he's just like, you know, I'm going to keep my Vikings off the ground, except for these two, for uh, scouting purposes. 
and Joseki is going to go ahead and push and take this tower. And it looks like um, Cheese is going to be like, you know what, I'm just going to fly in the back door here. So very unlucky. He decides to move out. Um, I'm really surprised Cheese doesn't move in here. He knows nothing's over there, or at least he thought there was nothing over there. And actually, uh, he's a bit distracted over here. He's uh, being focused down by Joseki. And Joseki is just putting out massive amounts of damage. I'm pretty sure this is going to be the game ending push here, or it seems like it. Uh, as the expo goes down, and we have tanks just kind of rickrolling everything, but look at this. <laughs> Jesus, Vikings are pushing in, so we're going to have a small little base race, it is, seems like. No, uh, Joseki goes ahead, and he's like opting to push back, and he's like, I'm going to protect my base. I'm not going to go into a base race, and um, Jesus needs to get an expo back. He is just in massive amounts of trouble. We have two um, command centers over here, just a massive amount of SCVs, and... Uh, these Vikings and Marauders and other Vikings are just duking it out. And these siege tanks are most likely going to siege up right around this edge over here. Or they should very, very shortly. I'm not really sure why they continue to push up. They need to siege up to do the maximum amount of damage. And Cheese is going to go ahead and stay in this fight. Looks like he just wants to delay as much as possible and uh, avoid these. Yeah. Um, Cheese is just massive amounts of trouble there. Joseki seems to have map control. He has units spread across the whole entire map. Oh, and it actually looks like Cheese is able to repel this with his massive amount of Vikings again. So these uh, Vikings are just providing to be a very big nuisance. And I guess this is what these Marauders are for. Um, Joseki knows that he's just dealing with massive amounts of Vikings right now. So he's going to take a unit that can stim and do ridiculous amounts of damage to armored units. But these Vikings are just so unmasked that he's not really able to do anything. And we have a lot, a lot of low units here from Joseki. It looks like he's going to be able to make a push back over here. But the tanks are sieged up. This command center is flying back down over there. We have another one um, being completed. Barracks is still up top. And uh, here we go again. We have a whole bunch of units being lost, two Vikings and two Marauders from tank focus and uh, Viking focus. So uh, Joseki is going to lick his wounds and go ahead and head back to his base. He probably should get a lot of repairs down on these units. And most of them are almost useless and he spent so much money in them, why not repair them? And we just have, look at this, he can use all of these SCVs to spam repair right now. <laughs> Uh, he's actually had to be pulled off here because this Viking was being a little bit of a nuisance here. And Joseki's units are going to be like, you know what, we're going back to mining. And as you can see here, both players are pretty much off of two bases. I'm wondering if we're going to have another one expand. I'm really hoping so. Just because one of them is going to have to start getting risky and pushing if they both run out of money. And as you can see here, this barracks is um, going to go ahead and land back over here. <laughs> it's going to be kind of funny to see if he goes throws to the tech lab and maybe gets a Reaper or two out. Just to be a nuisance once again and just be annoying. Um, no tech lab ever now, but I'll keep track of it throughout the game. And we do have now Cheese finally taking his tower and being a little bit more offensive. So, he's going to go ahead and siege up there, which is probably the right move there. And um, I'm kind of surprised that uh, Joseki just has this missile turn out here, but he doesn't really want to take that tower. I guess he's very afraid that he's going get, to keep getting backdoored while he only has this one expo up. I'm really surprised that he does not have another command center at all building in his base. Actually, we do have a command center. Sorry. Um, read my mind or something. We have a command center being built for this gold mineral.